What I did right now? This is called autosomal dominating compelling helioophthalmic outburst syndrome. In a very simple word, this is called sneezing. In this episode of Jotanku, we try to know 360 degree about sneezing, why it comes from, how it comes from, and what will happen if you forcefully stop your sneeze, and what should you do if you have a persistent sneezing or a continuous sneezing. At the same time, we try to know what is the behind of the mysterious effect and mysterious reason of sneezing. So let us go for details. What is sneezing? The hairs inside our nose act like brushes. When we breathe in, those hairs inside the nose trap even hold any dust, rano or metal particles. If somehow those dust particles get through the nose hairs, the sensitive soft skin there starts to vibrate and we start to feel the dew inside the nose. This sensation instructs the lungs to draw in more air. We breathe a big sigh. Then the lungs expel all the air rapidly through the nose and mouth. As the air gets obstructed at various places in the respiratory system during exhalation, some noise is also produced. Thus, the mixture of sound and motion is the sudden release of area which we call sneeze. Amazingly, this complex process takes place in less than one second. <laughs> Why does sneezing happen? It is normal to sneeze when dust enters the nose. Some people sneeze even in bright light. The trigeminal nerve of the human eye and nose lie side by side. So when the eyes are stimulated by bright light, as well as our nose is also stimulated and sneezing occurs. Typically, 18% to 35% of people sneeze when suddenly exposed to bright light. Scientists said one in three people sneeze because of this bright sunlight. In addition, sneezes can also be caused by dust or strong smells. In short, Sneezing is caused by anything that causes irritation or tickling inside the nose. The speed of sneeze is 140 to 160 km per hour. Nasal fluid can spread up to 5 feet. There may be about 2000 to 5000 germs in the fluid that comes out through the sneeze. A study has shown that if a sick person sneezes, about 2 million different types of virus can be spread. The rate of attack of this virus depends on the severity of the disease. We felt it during the corona. If a person sneezes with his closed nose, a pressure can be 23,465 pascal of air pressure. This amount of pressure is enough to damage hearing and eyesight. What happens when you sneeze? Eyes close while sneezing. I have already told that the speed of sneezing is 160 km per hour. Many experts say that if the eyes are open during the sneeze, at this speed, the eye may fall out of the eyeball. So naturally, eyes are closed during sneezing. But modern research suggests that just before sneezing, all the muscles except the muscles associated with mouth breathing are stopped working. Since the eyes are not involved in breathing, so the eyes also close. As a result, you usually cannot sneeze with your eyes open even if you want to. You should stop while sneezing. Before sneezing, a lot of air enters the lungs at once through the nose. It tightens the chest muscles, then the abdominal muscles tighten. Then the muscle of the arm and legs also contract. As a result, no matter how much you run, you have to stop when you sneeze. Whether it is 1 or 10, it's better to give than to withhold. Let's take a look at the bad side of sneezing. Pain in the neck or waist joint may be aggravated by tension caused by sneezing. However, if you sneeze while standing, the pressure is more. So sit and sneeze. Number 2. Blood vessels in the white part of the eye can be torn. As a result, the white part of the eye may become stained. Sometimes the hearing is reduced. Hot air may come out of the air, causing the air to become hot. The good side of sneezing. Sneezing helps keep your body healthy. It plays a very important role in your immunity. 
because through this various germs are removed from our body number one bacteria and virus present in the nose are cleared by sneezing sneezing clears out the dirt and germs inside our nose and make us feel comfortable to breathe sneezing prevents various germs bacteria and other elements like mosquitoes flies or other insects from entering our body as a result of sneezing our brain is very active laziness is removed and the body becomes very neat sneezing is good but continuous sneezing can actually cause serious problems so if there is frequent intermittent sneezing you should try to stop it doctor recommends the following actions to stop annoying sneezing number one holding the nose pinch the tip of the nose and stretch it by pulling but let it not be painful stretching the cartilage of the nose in this way will stop sneezing blow your nose blow to your nose with a handkerchief or tissue when you feel a sneeze coming on this will first clear your sinus which can cause sneezing pinch the upper lip with the thumb and forefinger and pull it up towards the nose use tongue press the back of the two teeth along the middle of the upper lip with the tongue apply from pressure to the inside of the mouth as well as the jaw and this will stop the itching inside your nose at home lean over a table and stick your tongue out with your head one inch or 2.5 centimeter above the table sneezing will naturally subside it will take five to seven seconds give it a try when you sneeze use the tip of the tongue to tap the palm upwards inside the mouth continue to apply this method until your chances of sneezing decrease it will take five to ten seconds hold between two eyebrows it's a place where stress like headaches reduce the likelihood of sneezing again apply light pressure to the ear if you feel sneeze coming on gently shake your ear with your hands to stop or hide a sneeze in front of many people it may look like you are playing with your ears stopping sneezing can be dangerous don't actually try to stop normal sneeze if you stop sneezing forcefully can lead to a heart attack sometimes muscle weakness may occur forcing the diaphragm muscles to stop working can cause a hiccup instead of a sneeze that's all for today